Hi, this is MD Abul Kashim. Uh, I am a full stack software, uh, full stack software developer. Okay, I today I'm going to share a tutorial for um, a beginner who want to learn Java program. If you are looking this tutorial at this moment then I assume you are willing to learn Java language okay all right so the very first question is what is programming um, all right my definition programming is the act of giving your computer instructions programming is a business solution to a specific problem for example I need an app that helps me keep track of when employees clock in I need an app that allows me to see the latest movie reviews okay something like that and instruction in many languages um, come in different uh, languages some of us we um, some of us speak English some of us speak Spanish uh, some of us Bengali and many more okay so in the same way some of us give the computer instruction in python some of us give the computer instruction in um, c sharp similarly in J uh, java there are also many more okay um but today we're just going to focus on Java. Very strange. I have logged in before and it asking me again not sure why but anyway because i'm trying to find this all right i'm gonna start again <coughs> okay this is md abul kashim uh full stack software developer um and uh, I uh, work on several projects where I have gained back in technologies, uh, including Java, SQL, CSS, PostgreSQL, MySQL, SQL, uh, microservice architectures, okay, as well as the front end technologies, including CSS, HTML, JavaScript, Angular, and React. I also um, uh, worked as a DevOps engineer where I have created uh, CI CD pipelines and I deployed applications onto the AWS uh, EC2 and AWS S3 buckets. I am uh, Oracle certified associates. Um, so let's see the story of programming um, programming in my opinion is the act of giving your computer instructions programming is a business solutions to a, a specific problem for example i need an app that helps me keep track of when employees log in or maybe i need an app that allow me to see the latest movie reviews okay something like that 
So instructions come in many different languages. Some of us speak English. Some of us speak uh, Bengali or many other languages. In the same way, some of us give the computer instruction in C sharp. Uh, some of us give the computer instruction in Python. Other gives the computer instruction in Java. All right, so as uh, it turns out, our computer does not understand those languages anyway. Uh, computer speak binary, okay? So there are Python, Java, C Sharp, C, C++, and many more. None of them computer understand. Computer only understand the binary, okay? This is why compilation is necessary, all right? So let's see, this is my uh, small program in Java, public class hello and main method. Main method is the starting point of the program. So we'll discuss more about main method and system.out.print line hello world. This line later, but at this moment you just know this is the entry point, uh, starting point of the program and system.out.print line will print whatever string or any value here that will print on the console so this is <coughs> java language but computer does not understand this language computer only understand the binary zero and ones sequence of zero ones but actually it don't even understand zero and ones it's actually understand the electricity on and off switch circuits so I'm not gonna go through the mm, <coughs> circuit of uh, CPUs because there is a, a lot of thing to talk about that. All right, let's uh, stay with Java high level. Um, so I am going to compile this with the Java compiler. So Java compiler will create um, Java bytecode and then the bytecode uh, will compile in machine code and then machine code will understand this instruction and execute it uh, and show the results uh, we'll show the results so in the git if i because i have ran this recently okay so java c means java compiler and the name of the class uh, name of the file so if I run this it is going to compile so when it's compiled compilation is done no error so we're gonna do Java and name of the class so it's it's printed uh, the hello world because that's what I wanted to do system that out the print line okay so this is a simple example okay um, out of the many uh, programming languages what is difference um, between C C sharp Python um, those other languages and the Java language uh, the main features of Java language including um, it's an object-oriented programming considered easy to learn and highly supported language compiled programming language and most notable features including built-in memory management um, built-in memory management is one so built-in memory management shirt all right built-in memory management okay what I'm doing and built-in exception handling platform independent 
what that means so platform independent so for example I have this program written in Java so if I want to run this program in a different um, machine okay so this program will run as long as the machine have JRE there are two kind of settings one is uh, three three actually JVM Java virtual machine JRE Java runtime environment and JDK uh, Java development kits okay so when you develop then you need to have um, JDK in a in install in your machine so if you have JDK so you're gonna have the runtime environment and the development tools kit for Java um, so if I run the if I want to run this program in Mac Linux Windows so I just need to uh, set up the environment then I, I'll be able to run this program without changing any code inside so that is the platform independent so um, they said uh, write once run anywhere language but <coughs> many other languages does not have these features so if you run a program for Windows then the program only run in Windows machines so you cannot run that program in Linux machine so those languages is not uh, those languages are not platform independent okay so uh, this is one of the features um, that Java um, makes something um, popular and the Java development kit um, <coughs> when we disc um, developing and running Java applications there are uh, three key terms to keep in mind one is uh, JDK JDK, other one is JRE, Java Runtime Environment, and JVM, Java Virtual Machine, right? JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. Okay, the Java Development Kit provides a development environment. So, this one provides development in environment. development environments and this is runtime runtime um, environment and the JVM the JVM is <coughs> JVM the Java virtual machine it is uh, required to run java byte code okay into machine specific code so um, java virtual machine is what makes the java platform independent so this is important this one um, so this this make java byte code and then turn into machine specific code so this uh, make the Java platform um, independent let's make the uh, platform independent all right Okay, let's play with um, class or uh, object. I said Java is object oriented programming language. 
all right object oriented programming language what what is an object um okay an object is a data type created by a developer an object is a data type uh, created by a developer all right this makes some different okay uh, and so an object uh, to all right I think this will make more sense so an object is a data type created by a developer object is object is a uh, representation 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 of real world data of real world data this should be two word real world data okay what else object can have object can contains properties properties and procedures um, procedures or method or function these are all same word <coughs> an object is stored is stored in memory okay so an object is a data type created by developer object is a presentation of a real world data object uh, contain properties and procedures procedures is function uh, object is stored in memory um, one thing in Java um, in Java every or uh, all object uh, inherits <coughs> inherits uh, from the object class if you are super new first time then you probably don't understand what is object class is in Java but you'll understand it this is built in in Java <coughs> so I saw object class so what is class a class so a class is a blueprint I am going to pause a little bit.